So good afternoon. Willkommen, as your compatriots would say. Uh, we were supposed to be in Delphi right now, but we are in Zapion, unfortunately, <laughs> because of the coronavirus. Let's start right away because we only have 15 minutes, so please try to be brief. Uh, on a personal note, that's my first question. Where were you during the pandemic? Were you in Germany or here? I was here in Greece. Uh, in fact, there's probably no better place to be in quarantine than in Greece. <laughs> Uh, and of course, I, but I also had uh, uh, things to do. You can imagine that as in every organization, also in our embassy, one had to manage uh, the crisis on a small scale. And so that's what I, what I was doing here. But you had a positive experience, I suppose, uh, of the well, handling there, of the Greek government and the people, the way they live. No, it's clear. Uh, you only have to look at the numbers the to numbers, know that... Yeah. Uh, that Greece has managed the health side of the of the crisis exceptionally well, and even one better only, than the Germans, I would better, say. <laughs> even better than Germany, and and one really has to congratulate Greece to this. So, uh, pandemic uh, has created a huge upheaval in every aspect of life, and also uh, the EU presidency, which uh, Germany will take the helm of. Uh, what? do you think is the main challenge and what are the priorities of the EU presidency which will start in July? Well, the main challenge is, as you say, we are in crisis. We are in crisis not only as far as the pandemic is concerned, health in the health area and in the economic area, but we are also in crisis at an international scale. We have a situation where there's uncertainty and danger, if you like, on many, in many quarters here in Greece. The focus is very much on Turkey, Turkey. obviously. Uh, but we also have uh, a global situation in which if you, if you uh, look for stability, rationality, uh, cool-headedness, uh, you come to the conclusion, at least I do, that uh, uh, the only place to turn to for this is probably us Europeans ourselves. And, uh, and so my belief is that we, must, we as Europeans must stand even closer together in crisis than we have been doing anyway. What about the recovery fund? That's the big question, I think, and the big challenge uh, ahead. Uh, do you think we will come to an agreement uh, due to the frugal force who are playing the tough ones and uh, there are big reservations about the uh, quota of uh, grants and loans of this uh, 750 million uh, euros that uh, Germany and France are suggesting is their package proposal. Mm. Yeah, well, uh, difficult to make predictions. I'm fairly fairly confident that we will find an agreement because the urgency is so great. Uh, but it will be very hard work. Uh, in fact, we do have a whole number of, uh, that's coming back to your first question, a whole number of issues which we will have to deal with in the EU in the next half year. Uh, recovery fund and uh, multi-annual financial framework for the next seven years is one of these. But uh, there's more. We will have a and this is only the most urgent, you see. We, have, we will have uh, an extensive and very controversial, I suppose, discussion about the future relationship between the EU and the United Kingdom because the United Kingdom it does not accept to extend the deadline. And we, we are running, due to the time loss we had through corona, we are running into a situation where we may end up again in front of a no-deal situation. Um, then we have uh, the open, reopening of borders and the reestablishment of free travel within the European Union, which is also of great importance to Greece, as we know. And, uh, and then there's more. There's migration, there is EU enlargement, there is climate policy and the Green Deal. All of this, uh, uh, all of this in a situation where uh, in Brussels, the working structures of the Council uh, cannot work at their capacity because of the restrictions due to corona. I wanted to, to ask you about that. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think the, uh, the main uh, meetings will be held uh, virtually or actually face-to-face -face meetings? Uh, well, uh, my... What is uh, the expectation? <laughs> my, uh, 
my colleagues in, in, in Berlin, they are planning on two tracks right now. Okay. They are working on, uh, until the summer break, clearly only virtual meetings, maybe with, one, maybe with one single exception, that would be a European Council on the Recovery yeah. Fund. Uh, and then after sept from September onward, there are two possibilities, and we don't know how the situation mm. will be once, once If there's uh, once going to be there. a second wave or exactly. not, I guess. That's exactly. The... And then also then, in the best case, we are not likely to have across the board only meetings, meetings with presence, but also uh, video formats. And that also restricts simply the, the capacity to come to agreements and to advance matters. Since you mentioned Turkey before, uh, what's your take on uh, Turkey's uh, aggressive comments uh, daily, I would say, uh, towards uh, Greece? Uh, is, do you think this is worrisome? Uh, and also, what's, what's the role of Turkey in Libya? Do you see Libya becoming a second Syria? Mm. I have well, to mention you were an expert of, on Turkey while uh, serving in the Foreign Ministry of Germany in mm -hmm. Berlin a couple of years ago. Yes. Well, uh, clearly the way Turkey is acting in its wider neighborhood is a matter of uh, clear concern. Uh, we have a leadership in Turkey which I would say thrives on provocation and controversy and creates such provocation and controversy. And for us, Greece, Germany, us Europeans in general, uh, the big dilemma is to determine in how far we want to, uh, to be at the same, uh, we have to try to be at the same time firm and clear, yeah. but at the same time, maybe not play to this tactic hmm. you know, or this strategy that Turkey is using and, and allow ourselves to give them more reason uh, to create emotionality uh, in the relationships. You said one of the priorities is still immigration, and you know this is of a big interest for Greece. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think that uh, there will be a, an, uh, a renewal of the asylum policy in Europe? Do you see that coming or not? That's a again, revision that's of again a very, very complicated and diff difficult uh, mm. subject. It's clear that it is really uh, on the top of the list of, uh, of what uh, the Commission and the German presidency intend to, to do. Uh, but at the same time, we have to simply acknowledge that this matter has been under controversy for now five years, mm. three years, without any movement. And uh, it's, it's really uh, difficult to say whether we can engineer a fresh start to all these issues which have been under debate for so long with very strong positions taken. Mm. Uh, but we are really willing to do a, take a, take a, take a, make a big effort on this, uh, by both the Commission and Germany as presidency. And, we, uh, and Germany supports the philosophy that Greece and other uh, directly most affected countries have that there needs to be a, a form of solidarity in, sharing of responsibility across the European Union as well. What about the black sheep uh, of Europe uh, not, not being willing to, to welcome uh, refugees at all, refusing to take in refugees? Yes, Do you that's... think there should be some sanctions or incentives for them to, to do something? <laughs> I don't know how you're going to tackle this issue. Well, there will have to be some sort of uh, encouragement mechanism, say, uh, and we will, it, it will be up to the creativity of everyone involved in these conversations to, to, to find a solution which they also can accept. Uh, uh, it's of course we need, we need unanimity on, on these matters, so yeah. that makes the matter sure. so difficult. Uh, another thing I wanted to ask you is about the transatlantic relations. Uh, we heard Trump uh, threaten Germany that uh, the U.S. is going to withdraw around 10,000 uh, soldiers mm. from Germany. Do you think this is just a threat? Uh, will it materialize? Because we haven't heard anything after that. So the Pentagon officials refused to comment on that. Mm. But is it hurting the already wounded uh, transatlantic relation between uh, Germany and uh, the U.S.? 
Well, it is a live issue in the German uh, media landscape, that's for, that's for sure. Um, as, as it sometimes happens, you know, you don't know exactly whether what you hear out of Washington is a consolidated position and a plan or an impulse. Yeah. And so, uh, also here, I guess uh, we, have to, we have to wait and see. Uh, as for the transatlantic relationship, uh, this is another set of the many dilemmas we have. Uh, on the one hand, it's clear that uh, the relationship we have through the United States, also again, Germany, Greece, uh, Europeans in general, is fundamental and central and has been historically a, a fantastic achievement after World War II. Uh, at the same time, it's complicated, like they say on Facebook, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, if a compatriot of yours asks you if Greece is a safe tourist destination, you know, it's, a, it's our main concern right now. What's going to happen with tourism? And, you know, what, a big part of our GDP comes from tourism. Uh, would you suggest uh, Greece as a safe destination or not? Will you yourself have a vacation here in Greece? Well, uh, I, uh, I'm personally affected because my children, my grown-up children, are, are going to come to Greece. So I had, was confronted with this question. And, so uh, they ask you to? And uh, so I encouraged them to come. As we mentioned, the numbers in Greece are much better than in Germany. Yeah. Uh, you are very sensitive in gender equality issues, I've noticed. And since it's, uh, it's also an issue in Greece uh, these days, uh, do you think uh, Greece is a sexist society or not? Uh, that's, a, that's a harsh statement to make. I mean, we all have uh, a lot to do to create true gender equality. But in comparison to Germany, do you think it's more backwards than... Uh... Mm, I would hesitate to make, make comparisons. I've lived in countries with, uh, where there was clearly more to do in gender equality uh, than in Germany. <laughs> I guess. Uh, but, uh, well, it's, that's a complicated matter in itself again due to their very specific, uh, very specific traditions from the Soviet times. But uh, uh, clearly, I don't think one should, should uh, say, take the, the, the you know, the, the make such judgments where more, where less. But uh, clear is we all have to do much more to, to advance uh, gender equality. Just read the other day that German, the German foreign ministry for the first time has appointed a couple as ambassador on one post. Mm. They shared, they job share uh, the, <laughs> the ambassadorial post. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Good idea for us Greeks. And uh, a last question, uh, also on a personal note. What do you like and what do you dislike uh, about Greece? Well, there's so much to like about Greece. Uh, I don't have to enumerate that. We don't have the time for that. But uh, what, what makes my job challenging here is uh, uh, what we also already mentioned, the emotionality uh, and the underlying tension that still exists uh, if, uh, in, the, in the way Germany is seen here in Greece. And, uh, uh, and anyway, always uh, on social media, what you say will be used against you. So that is what really kind of uh, creates the challenge for somebody like me. Yeah. Many predecessors of, predecessors of yours were accused of intervening heavily in Greek affairs, taking sides. Mm. What is your comment on that? Uh, do you agree? Do you think it yeah, we, I, was a bit when exaggerated? We take a, when, we, when my colleagues or I uh, take sides, then we take sides on issues, not on political parties or so. That's the guideline. Yeah. Yeah. There are situations in which one has to uh, make clear what one's own government uh, thinks about a matter and there are areas where one can relax and doesn't have to do that. It is always a uh, uh, complicated matter to, to go out and say something uh, which some people like and others dislike. You don't want to do that as a rule, but uh, such situations exist, of course. Okay, thank you very much for this thank very interesting very debate. Hope to see you next year in Delphi this I time. I do hope so too, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.